Sunny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at Legends Gym today in Romford with smoking Joe Mullinder. What's happening? I'm good mate, you? Yeah, good mate, good, good. Just seen you doing some bag work in there, just ticking over. When you got the next fight? Uh, yeah, I'm just ticking over at the minute. I've got, uh, just got some stuff going on in my personal life, so I'm just ticking over. But I've been sparring, done eight rounds uh, with Comrade Cummings last week, but yeah, just ticking over and then I'm out in September, September the 5th. So you won the uh, Masters title not so long, in your, I believe your two fights ago was it? Yeah, I think I won the British or the International. One of them. One of them. But then you uh, vacated it, knocked the guy in the first round, your last fight. Yeah, to be fair, the geezer weren't really up to it. He, uh, I think he was a bit dominant when he got in the York Coles 2000 in there, it was, uh, it was a good pack night. but. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Apparently, I broke his rib, but I'm sure I'll have a lot of other fights than that. So. Talking of other fights, what sort of fights are you looking for? I know that you're starting to look at Southern Area English title eliminator sort of now. Obviously, Elliot Matthews is fighting in a few weeks for the Southern Area. If he overcomes that, is that a possible fight that could happen? Yeah, I mean, um, it don't really matter to me. I'll, I'll fight anyway. So it's not the fact that uh, me and Elliot Matthews won't get it on. We don't fight each other. So I think it's the fact that. I've, Steve Goodwin and uh, his promoter, Elliot, Math Elliot, uh, Mickey Elliot, sorry. It's them two doing whatever, or otherwise we go a different route and go down and do it. Depends what they do, depends what would you, promoters really. It's not up to me. I just, I would get in the ring with whoever. Boxing's a business. It is, and it ain't. Sometimes you just told who to fight and went to fight, and yeah, that's, that's what it is really. It's not, uh, no one's ducking each other, it's just, it's the business side of it that's, I think it's that side that's stopping that fight. If if you could overcome the business side, would that would, it, would that be the sort of fight you want or is it the English title eliminator that you'd rather? Uh, yeah, I mean, I want to get to British title level as quick as possible, so whatever route that will get me to quicker, I will take. So, but again, I leave it up to Jamie, my trainer, Jamie Williams, and uh, Steve Goodwin, my manager and promoter. It's up to them, really. That's it's up to them to get me there as quick as I can. And I'll fight. Uh, how have you found training at the moment? Then, just obviously, because you've got no fight date, is it a bit annoying? Like, obviously, I can see now that you're quite on weight. Anyway, do you just stay ticking over all year, so you're ready whenever? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't stay ticking over. So I'm always, if I get a call, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Uh, I just keep myself fit anyway. Stay in the gym, I've been to barring, helping out Christian, as you do after his Southern Area title fight. Uh, just constantly being in the gym, I uh, just keep myself fit. What do you think of uh, Chris in there? He looks he looks pretty sharp, he's got a, his second fight against Freddie Turner. Obviously the last one was stopped on a cut and Freddie got the decision. Can you, do you think he looks sharper this time? Yeah, without that, I mean he's, he's looking a lot stronger. I mean I know he's been doing a lot of work with our strength conditioning, quite a Mike Cooper. And he, he, yeah, he's definitely hitting hard up. And uh, what he wants to do in the fight, I mean, I ain't going to say just in case, but he's definitely, definitely improved since he was last in with Freddie, which is a tough fight for him. Freddie's a good kicker, he's a good fighter. So, it's, uh, yeah, Chris knows what he's got to do, and if he don't, he don't get it. But if he does, then he's, he's more than capable. So I know you're quite a... Decent ticket seller, like you said, the guy might have been a bit daunted in your last fight because of the support that you had in your call. Would it be a dream to you to fight for sort of like a British English title within the Brentwood Centre so you can have all your locals come down? Yeah, without that, I mean, I would pretty much guarantee selling that place out. So, but again, it's it's, it's not up to me, it's up to managers, promoter, uh, things like that. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate for a second to sign to fight there again. And, I've always done, I've always been very lucky with the support I get and my sponsors and I know that would be a dream for me to fight there again, just to have everyone there who sometimes can't get to the yield call. I know they would go to the Brentwood Centre, so yeah, but that's that's not up to me. And some of the girls in Brentwood are well fit, so I'd definitely come to that show. Yeah, I can't say that's mum, she's probably going to be looking at this, but yeah, some of them are pretty powerful. <laughs> Alright, well, Joe. Hopefully we get to see you out soon. I'd love to see you win that title and hopefully we get to the Brentwood Centre and have the fight there. It'd be yeah. buzzing. Yeah, top map. Alright, thanks for talking to Apple, mate.